It is our PGP MVPs of the week. Excited to get to this. Patrick, we're going to start off with you since we just ended with you. Sure. I've got the Quick Trip Twitter account. Whoever's running that account is hilarious. So a TV reporter in South Bend tweeted at them this week and said, please come to South Bend at Quick Trip. And Quick Trip responded and said, we'll consider coming to South Bend if Notre Dame fans admit play like a champion belongs to the University of Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. There you go. Quick Trip didn't have to potentially upset thousands of customers, but they did. Because they know play like a champion is an Oklahoma saying and that we invented championships. And I thought that was awesome. That that is a good one. Also, quick trip for those who don't know in Oklahoma City. All time great gas station. It's so I got a friend who it's it's his favorite restaurant. I'm not joking. His (laughs) he says his favorite restaurant is quick trip. As far as gas station food, it's only second to Bucky's for me. And Bucky's is a whole different monster. Yeah. When I when I lived in Virginia, there's a place called Sheets and Sheets is pretty damn good. Sheets is like really really good. That's that's, that's like a northeast kind of thing. Hmm. They don't really have them anywhere else. Um Sheets and Wawa. There's that's the big Wawa, battle. That's that. the yeah. big battle in the northeast right there for for gas station supremacy. But the <laughs> quick trip I'll always love the, yeah. Those spicy chicken taquitos got me through every early morning football thing I ever had in high school. It was great. Matt, who you got? That's true. I'm really disappointed you didn't go with the other person. Ah, uh, yeah. You can go with him. Go ahead. No, no. There's only one true MVP, and that is my guy, tennis, Novak Djokovic. You guys know I had to do it. Big tennis guy, as you guys are all aware well of and, I guess and knew so. for a very long time. Yeah. Played in the classiest tournament in all the world, Wimbledon, winning his fourth straight Wimbledon title. I didn't say his fourth. I said fourth straight, four years in a row. That is pure dominance. His seventh overall Wimbledon win, notching his 21st Grand Slam, which is putting him one behind the all-time record. Can anyone guess who's got the most all-time Grand Slams? He's still currently playing. Nadal. Yes, Nadal. It is Nadal at 22, the king of clay. This is probably one of the greatest generations of tennis players. If you guys don't watch tennis, you need to. Djokovic, Nadal, Federer, all on the older end of their career, but still dominating people. It's got to be Djokovic, four straight title. Incredible to watch. Love it. I'll go next. I got Tiger Woods as my MVP of the week. I think it's my second time giving Every him week my we MVP. Tiger Whatever, keep doing it to him. Mason. Love Look, it. man, it's the British. It's the British Open this week. Going home to the home of golf at uh, St Andrews in Scotland. They're going. It's the 150th British Open. They call it the Open Championship, I guess I should say. Tiger Woods back playing after missing the U.S. Open. I'm so excited. He looks good. He's in good spirits. But that's not why he's my MVP. He said today during a press conference, and by today, I mean Tuesday, he said on Tuesday during a press conference, kind of calling out the guys who joined the Live Tour and calling them out in a big way. Tiger doesn't really do that a lot. And he said that they've gone about this the entire wrong way. And now they're going to pay the consequences because he doesn't know if they're going to be able to play major championships. And from a guy who has won a bunch of major championships and knows how important they are to your legacy and how important you are as a golfer for Tiger Woods to come out and say, I don't know what they're going to do now. It's going to tarnish their legacy. Probably made a lot of those guys on the live tour feel like crap. Now they're probably going to dab their eyes with their, you know, wads of hundred dollar bills, but still it's in the, in the grand scheme of golf for Tiger Woods, who's at the very tip top of the sport telling you that you're a piece of crap means a lot. So that's, that's where I'm at. I don't care if someone wins the live golf championship 20 times, they will never be a legend of golf. No, never, never. I'd encourage everyone to go look for the, the actual full quote. It's pretty long. It is. Tiger is super, like you can tell he has thought about this from a lot of different angles And uh, things that I wasn't thinking about, things that I just didn't know. Um, 
Yeah, go look it up because he has he has a lot of interesting thoughts on that. Good call, Mason. Yeah, but he looks he looks good this week. He he's walking around. He's looking okay. He's goofing around with guys. I'm very excited. Once again, just hope he makes the cut. I would just love to see him on a Sunday. That's all I really care about. All right. Who who's our last who rounds it out, Mark? It's it's me because I was last um putting mine in. So I'm gonna so my MVP is all of our collective Oklahoma fandom. And I did this to cover two things. One is the like awesome recruiting uh trip that we're on right now. We are just we have crushed July so far, and there's more to come, it seems. So shout out Boomer Sooner. The next is I was told by a person the other day that horns down is quote like the C word. And I'm not going to say it, obviously unquote. No. And I'm like, man, how'd you get there? Yeah. How'd, you, how'd you ever get there? We are so in the heads of these other teams. Rent free. New coach doesn't matter. We've got, we are coming and we are pulling these guys from Pennsylvania, from Princeton, New Jersey. We are going all over the country and we are pulling them in because there's something different about what's happening in Norman, Oklahoma. And Oklahoma fandom is my MVP of the week. 